So you've given the forward for this. Can you read the, the best part of it? Yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I'll basically give the essence of the forward rather than reading it word for word. But um, you know, I mean, the purpose of this book is not to scare you. It's a little scary, but that's uh, because the stories are. Uh, but all human beings have a need to socialize. We are social animals. Some animals are not social, but we are. So, we have a big need to be part of a community, know people, have lots of friends, acquaintances, all that in our life. But at the same time, we have another need to feel safe, to feel very secure. And I think that is the contradiction because we want to be out there having a lot of people into our lives, but we also want to feel safe. And that is the balance I think sometimes a young person is not able to figure out, especially when they are young adults, they have just grown up. So, you know, you may have a girl who is like, oh, he's just my friend and everybody who laughs with her is a friend or it's a guy who could trust somebody like that. But balancing that safety versus the need to socialize, that's the essence of, uh, you know, where the aim is to make sure youngsters try to make the right call. The signs are always there, you know, and, and that's what it's all about. So, that's, I think when I, when I saw the show and also the stories, it was this only, Most, uh, mostly it was people, uh, people who did the crime who you know and uh, it is just a case of why they trusted them and I think you have to be learn to be careful on who you give your trust to. You cannot trust anyone and everyone in life, you should trust, it does not mean trust no one, I would not say trust no one, but that balance, that ability everybody needs to have and these days with technology it is getting even worse because you know, people can intrude into your lives through WhatsApp, through Facebook, everything. And before you know it, you feel that they are in your life and you feel like you know them, you feel like you can trust them, but maybe not. There was a case recently in the papers I saw, 19 days a girl had known a guy in Bangalore and a proper, like she worked in a software company, the guy also worked in software, he came and he murdered her and left and it was just bizarre. And otherwise, without Facebook, this would have not happened, but it is here to stay, these technologies are here to stay. So, we have to learn to how to manage them. It does not mean that someone pres presses a like on your picture, they like you or they can be trusted, you know, it can be very different. And also, I think we have to keep in mind, especially as women, especially as young women, especially women who are going out to work, out to study, you know, it is not like the olden days where, um, you know, you, you, you know, I remember my mother or my grandmother, she never left home without someone, uh, you know, like her brother, her father, someone going with her. But now, we don't want that, you know, even as young women, we want to be independent, we want that freedom, but there is, you know, we have to be careful, and our safety is in our own hands. You know, we can't blame the government or the C CM and, you know, and, and the media and Yehua, Kivohua, no. Our safety is in our hands, and we have to take precautions. I remember um, when I was in... Um, when I lived, when I was in business school, I lived in New York and I lived in Harlem, which was the, one of the most dangerous parts of town because our business school was close by. And literally at night, I could sometimes hear gunshots, you know, hear sirens going off. And I was a student and I took public transportation. I was taking the metro, I was taking the, you know, buses. And at all times, I used to carry with me pepper spray. It was attached to my room keys. You know, it was attached to my keychain with some pepper spray saying, you know, this is for safety because, you know, you never know in those underground stations at 2 a.m. or 1 a.m. And you have to be careful. Like even, I, I live in Delhi and, and I feel ashamed to say this, but after 9 p.m. in Delhi, I don't take taxis. I even try not to go out on the streets. If I'm going out for a walk or something, I make sure my phone is fully charged. I make sure someone knows where I'm going. So these are things that we have to, you know, and when, we, when we're young, we think we're invincible. You know, we really think that nothing or no one can harm us. But it just takes one incident. It takes one fraction of a second for a crime to happen. So I really think, especially as young women, you know, we have to protect first and foremost ourselves. And that is the message that this book is trying to impart.